In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your scopes quickly and effectively. And we're going to do it in two minutes. We're going to start the stopwatch right here and let's jump right in. First thing under your color page, click on this little expand button and you can go through a two up, four up, nine up. But right now we're just going to stick with four up. Okay. And then the way I like to set it up is this. First of all, click on these three dots. And what we want to do is turn on low pass filter. So it's going to give us a little bit of a granular control over our scopes and show us what we really want to see. And then I'm going to turn on display qualifier focus. Why am I doing that? Because then when we hover over our image, we get to see what's happening on our scope. So that's extremely important. And here I'm going to select a waveform. And this waveform, I'm going to leave it as is. But here I'm going to click on this menu right here. And then I'm going to select Y um, and I'm going to choose colorized. OK, I'm also going to turn on show reference levels and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to type in 50. So I have a little bit of uh, leeway at the bottom and then I'm going to click right here. I'm going to type in 950. So I have a little bit leeway up top. OK. And then here I usually do a parade. And then on this side, I select my vector scope. And then under vector scope, I'm going to turn on skin indicator. So when we hover over the skin right here, uh, we can see what's happening um, on our scopes right here. So this is basically the setup. All right. So this gives us a pretty broad picture of like what's going on uh, throughout our image on different brightness levels. Here we're going to see a colorized waveform with our RGB levels. Parade is good for balancing your image. So as your vector scope, and it also helps you nailing your skin tones, creating complementary colors. And that said, that's all you have to do to set up your scopes like a pro. Now, like I said, you can get pretty granular. You can do a nine up if you have a separate screen. But if you don't have a lot of real estate, if you're working on your laptop or something like that, this will be the setup to get you the best results uh, and cover all your bases. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any suggestions about the Quick Tip Tuesday, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, and I must tell you, if you want to take your color grading to the next level, then just spend one hour with me by watching this absolutely free training. Link is in the description. Just check out the stuff that's covered. Okay. How many of you have asked me about shot matching? Shot matching will never be covered on my channel, but this free training will give you the basics uh, about shot matching. It comes with practice footage, power grades, and lots created by me. So link is in the description. Check it out. And if you're enjoying the content, do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. I will see you guys in the next video.